welcome back to my channel it's your girl lyric and i am here and i am back with another video for you guys i try like so proud of me like i said i was gonna try to be consistent and so far i think i'm doing really good so far i think i'm doing pretty good right now make sure you guys go ahead don't forget go ahead and like comment subscribe on this video so we can keep the videos going because i really want to do this for y'all i want to be consistent so let's go ahead and keep it going um, i'm not gonna waste any more time today i am gonna do a highly requested video you guys want me to do a video um just giving some tips and i guess like some pointers on getting your first apartment and like budgeting if you're trying to get your first apartment things like that i'm not gonna lie y'all i'm a little honored that y'all want me to do that because i don't know i wouldn't say i'm necessarily the best at budgeting but i be having my sh my shit together so it's like i'm not the best but i still have like a couple of things that i do for myself that seem to work out so i would love to give some tips and some pointers whether you're trying to move in atlanta or wherever you're trying to move um i would be happy to go ahead and give some pointers on that so First things first, I will say that moving in by yourself is expensive. Especially like in the market today, it's very expensive. Especially in Atlanta, boy, it's expensive. But for me personally, like I was kind of already used to spending a lot of money on my place of living because that's how I did like in college, like I stayed in the student apartments, I didn't stay in the dorm. And if y'all wanna know how expensive we're talking, we're talking minimum, like maybe 1600. Oh. Between like 16 to $2,500. Like that's what we're talking about. That's really what we're talking about. It's crazy, I know. First thing I will say is make sure that you are saving money. So if you are wanting to move out, make sure that you're saving money. Like for me personally, I try to make sure like before I go anywhere new or move anywhere new, I kind of like to be comfortable because I still be like living. Like I still be outside and doing whatever I want to do. So I don't like to be super, super, super tight. So make sure you save up enough money to the point where at least for like the first month or the second month, you know, that you already have the first and second month taken care of so that you can still breathe. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be like tight and worried about, oh, how I'm going to do this for the next month or how I'm going to like... Make sure you stack or save enough money so that you at least cool for like two months so you can have time to like breathe because you don't want to be worried about like, oh, what I'm going to do, da, da, da. No, we're not going to be doing that. So just make sure you save so you can be comfortable and then you can figure out the rest like down the line. Another thing I would say as far as getting ready to move in by yourself. So for me personally, I was looking for studios when I first moved because I'm scary. Like I've been scary all my life and I've always lived with other people. Like I've always had a roommate or something like that. I was in college for four years living with roommates and I was still scared then. So like, I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna be in there by myself. I'm scary. So I was personally looking for studio apartments, whatever apartment that you're looking for, make sure you tour all your places. So go tour everything first, I would say. Go tour everything. Write down your favorites, take pictures of your favorites etc make sure you know you have your top favorites in mind ask a lot of questions like ask all your questions that you have on the tour because it's very annoying trying to call people back and forth trying to figure out more information like just go have all your questions when you go on the tour get them all answered and then kind of like you know place in order which ones are your favorites and things like that now, when you go on the tours, those people are gonna try to get you to pay a deposit and apply. Don't do it. Nope. Do it on your own time. That's their job. They're gonna try to get that deposit money. They're gonna try to rush you, but you don't have to rush. At the end of the day, it's up to you if you move there. If you don't, don't let nobody just like, they just wanna get that deposit money. They're just gonna be running your credit. So that's why I said to make sure that you're placing like in order the places that you like. Like you can take your time. It may take like a couple of weeks for you to figure out what place you want to go. Like for me personally, like I was going to looking at a couple of places a week and I didn't make a decision until like maybe three weeks out. Like I'll, I'll show y'all a couple of videos of like different places I was looking at. Like I was looking at them, favoring them and I really have to like sit and make sure and see like do I like this one better do I like, like I'm putting in account everything the location the looks 
I want to see how the leasing office look, how the surrounding areas look. So don't let those people rush you, like take your time. So that means that if you're going to take your time, you actually have to look in advance. Even if you are trying to rush into it, still take your time. Like, don't let nobody rush you into getting nothing because you never know. You might find something better. Like, you never know. And most importantly, do not apply until you are ready. Like, don't just go and apply to three or four places and let all of the places run your credit. No. Nope. Don't do that. Do not do that. And since we're talking about credit and all of that and applying and all of that, of course they're going to ask you for like documentation, like your proof of income and stuff like that. Make sure you have your pay stubs, your bank statements, whatever it is that they're asking you for. Make sure you have like all of that and make sure you have like good credit. I think like the average credit that most places want to see is like a 650, I would say. So try to make sure you have a good credit score. And if you don't have a credit score, that's okay. Go ahead and start building it off. Literally, you can build your credit score really good by just simply, you can get you like a little $300 credit card and just use it for something like if you go to the grocery store, if you go to the gas station and just make sure you are paying it off every month. Like that's really an easy way to start building your credit. That's how I first started building my credit when I was like my freshman year of college. Like I just got me a little $300 credit card. I would go buy some snacks from the gas station or whatever. And it really started building my credit because I didn't have no credit, but my credit got good. Like just make sure that you are paying it off on the due date or before the due date every time. At least you're paying the minimum. You don't have to pay the full thing, but at least make sure you're paying the minimum and make sure you are keeping your usage low. A rule of thumb, I think, is to always keep it below 30%, especially if you have like a low balance make sure you always keep it below 30%. So you don't wanna have a $300 credit card limit and then you already use $280. Like, no, that's not what you wanna have. Now it'd be different if you like, you know what I'm saying, you got like a $50,000 credit card limit and then you use using $10,000, that's different. But if you only got like a $200, $300 credit card, make sure you keep the balance really low and make sure you're paying the minimum payment. If you're not gonna pay the full thing, make sure you're paying at least the minimum payment on time every single month so that's just a way to like quickly build up your credit it might take a few months maybe like six months but just start like you gotta start somewhere you just gotta even if you're not planning on moving no time soon still make sure you get you a little credit card and build your credit it's good to build those type of habits because you know then you'll already know what to do so those are like some requirements that you would need. And I, some apartments, like some of y'all might be like a little bit younger. So some of y'all might be able to get like a guarantor or a co-signer or somebody like that. You can use their credit um, and then you can just get approved that way. So we're gonna talk about furniture. A lot of people are pressed when they move into their first apartment and they're worried about like furniture. Because you know what I'm saying? You probably think I don't spend all this money on this deposit. I don't pay this first month's rent. I don't pay for all of these bills. And I gotta pay for furniture. Let me tell y'all something. Furniture is expensive. When I first moved into, when I first moved in by myself, I didn't have a bed for like a month. Like, I didn't have a bed for a month. And I used to be like sad. Like I was like, what? I don't even have a bed. Like I don't feel comfortable. Like I don't feel at home. But I didn't have a, I didn't necessarily have a bed because I couldn't afford a bed. I just basically didn't get a bed before I moved in. And then I had bought a bed. That one was broke, so I had to wait on another bed. I didn't go to like I didn't go to a physical store to really buy anything. Most of my stuff I ordered online, and some of that stuff took like two or three weeks to come. But let me tell y'all something: don't pressure, don't worry yourself about furniture because furniture is expensive. You'll be done spent like hundreds of thousands of dollars on furniture, and then that's like really stuff you could have been doing, you know, to do other stuff to still live and breathe. So the furniture will come. Like some people are really pressed about having furniture. Yes, you need to, yeah, get a couple things. Like if you don't got a bed, maybe get like a little couch, get an air mattress, get something, get a couple things, but don't be in a rush to like, don't just think you're gonna move into a fully furnished apartment. I mean, if you got it like that, then you got it like that. Me personally though, I wasn't moving into no fully furnished apartment because I took my time with like how I really wanted things to look. So I tried not to like force myself to already have all of the furniture that I want it. But don't like stress yourself about having furniture as soon as you move in. Just get in there. Once you get in there, you're gonna feel good. Like you're gonna be in there. That's gonna be that. Yeah, like, you're gonna get it. So, or you're gonna be with your roommate. Whatever you're gonna be done, did it. That's the good part. Like that's the part that's great. The furniture is gonna come. Like don't worry about that. 
And then that also gives you more time to like really brainstorm and decorate and see how you really want stuff to be. You know what I'm mean? saying? That's how I think, but hey. Um, and yeah, just make sure you're taking your time. Make sure you're building your credit. Don't stress, don't rush into like buying stuff like on impulse, like a whole bunch of furniture you don't, that you don't need. Take your time and it'll all come together. You will figure it out. I promise y'all. That is going to just basically conclude this video. I hope these tips were helpful for some of those that ask. Um, I really do hope these tips were helpful. If not, I'll go into a more detailed video if y'all want me to go into a more detailed video. But make sure you go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Adosa Lyric. Also follow me on TikTok, Adosa Lyric. Y'all really follow me on TikTok because TikTok is really trying to shadow ban me right now. Like, I don't know why they doing that. I don't know why they doing that. But follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. And also, give me more video ideas. Whatever y'all want, I'm down for it. Whatever y'all want, let's do it. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.